Dispatch, shots fired, shots fired. Need to touch the agent from the ground at all times. Here at Police Academy. <laughs> another day, another dollar. Got the gun. Everybody else, put it out. Wow, that was the most painful I could think. <laughs> What is up guys here in Lemoore, California. It's a bit chillier out today. It's December, naturally it's a little cold. We just passed the dumpster, very nice. Headed into training Tuesday. Now when you're in security, whoa, hold up. Yeah. What? What did you say? Mm -hmm. You're probably wondering why am I doing a video on security? Aren't I an aircraft mechanic? You're right. Hold on to your pants because this is where it gets interesting. It's go time. So in the military, there's a term called TAD. TAD basically means that if your particular job that you're in has sufficient amount of manning, there's another job that needs manning, they'll train you to be at that job. So we're out here getting ready to get OC spray, go through our ASF course. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna probably hurt. I can't record the actual course. I'll definitely tune in with you afterwards. I'm super pumped, let's get this. <laughs> That's the most painful I could think. <laughs> temporarily assign you to go do that job until you've done your time they can replace you bring you back to your original job mos or your rate for me i'm an aviation structural mechanic and this last year i was sent tad to security military police or in the navy as we call it master at arms so they basically pull me out of the squadron set me up with a crash course how to be a military police on the course where you got to do takedowns you gotta use your baton, you gotta shout really loud, punching bags, you gotta fight the red man, which is like a guy that's suited up in armor and he's just kicking your ass, take him down. All the while you got this OC spray and you can't see. You can see though, right? I'm legally blind, I can see, barely. <laughs> that was brutal. And then the recovery, it's like two hours and I'm still like, all the legal jargon, mock takedowns, shooting range, you learn deadly force, your law enforcement, Miranda rights, military UCMJ, code of military conduct, you get OC spray. You learn how to be a sentry, you learn how to back up the military police and their duties. Pretty exciting. Right, we're doing VR, VR time. Back up. Hey, Booster, come on. Stop me. Put your weapon down. Let's talk about it. Back away now. Back away. Put your gun down right now. Put it down on the floor. I said drop the gun. Drop the weapon. This bad shots fired. Get ready for a lifetime of being badass motherfuckers. Oh, I am. For here at Naslamore, our time in security is about a year and a half. Sometimes we'll be at the hangar and we'll just do a few watches a month. And then there'll be some quarters where we are sent full time to be in section with the master at arms, then rotating, doing sentry work, checking IDs, performing turnaround, preventing anybody who does not have access to the base from getting on at all costs. All joking aside, the job is really serious. So many thousands of people that live and commute and work on a military installation. When it comes to being on React, when you're not on post, you will be expected to, at times, answer calls. Go out with the MAs, or assist in DUI checkpoints, domestic violence, theft. All sorts of things can happen on a base. Threats to security, bombing, threats of shooting, surveillance threats, vehicle inspection, building inspections, traffic accidents. You could be expected to answer the call. 
what's up guys here at the next mini mart part of react not only responding to calls with the ma's but it's also getting food and snacks beverages energy drinks whatever they might need while they're on post um, so i went to mcdonald's and got my boys some stuff but i made the fatal mistake of forgetting to get salsa and ketchup so i'm here at the next gotta look out for my shipmate uh, and they do the same for me that's kind of how it goes i need a monster i'm dying out here some greasy shit. You ain't got no better food like some chicken wings, some baby back ribs, some fries or something. When we were TAD, we were referred to as ASF, Auxiliary Security Force. For me, I always look at everything positive. So I'm meeting new people in the Navy, getting to see a different type of job. It also adds to my skill. Jobs in law enforcement outside of the military. There's parts about the job that are monotonous, you know, in high traffic when you're on days checking IDs. 12 hours or nonstop. And we have been doing a lot of traffic redirecting today. I'm trying that if we're gonna do a bollard movement, that the traffic is stopped and the bollards are clear. Every job has its upsides and downsides. At the end of the day, if I can be like this guy, then it's all worth it. First along my journey, I met lots of cool people, made plenty of new friends and security. So I've been slacking on my haircut. It's time to get cleaned up. Look who is there first this fool. <laughs> Got to go to the holiday party for the base. Well, that was really fun. Winning prizes. We went out afterwards dancing. Thanks for watching guys. I know I haven't made a vlog in a while. Plans to make more vlogs this year. Military vlogs and fun vlogs, me traveling. If I'm up for orders, I'm gonna be vlogging. My results for the orders I get, where I'm gonna go next. I have some old ones I need to post. Happy New Year's everybody. Thanks for tuning in. As always, make sure you click like and subscribe. Jake Space Wolf signing out. Y'all have a sick week. Peace.